Hey what's going on guys welcome to another video and in today's video I'm going to talk about job titles that only require HTML and CSS. Alright so for all of you that you've been asking me in every single video if you can get a job in web development just with just knowing simple HTML and CSS I'm here to tell you that this is completely possible yet, okay? Maybe there are not so many opportunities out there like for this uh, smaller, like for the other ones, I mean like for the other normal jobs, but there is still a lot of uh, opportunities out there. And I'm going to start with some of the job titles that you can actually search and uh, probably maybe you can find something in uh, in your area okay so so the job number one that uh, you can get only knowing html and css is the qa tester okay so what is a qa tester now you're going to be asking me so a qa tester basically is someone who is QA uh, just uh, before uh, before I start this QA tester is quality analyst tester okay uh, so this guy or this girl <laughs> depends whoever is going to be doing this is someone who is going to test a website uh, just to make sure that he's working fine okay uh, so what's that for example let's say that in in my in my previous job when I was working in this company that uh, they were uh, in the in this gambling industry, okay, we were doing loads and loads of landing pages, okay, uh, and these landing pages they need to be tested, okay, to make sure that they are uh, displaying right on desktops, on tablets, on phones, on different kinds of phones, all these kind of things. And when we finish these pages. We need someone, or oh, it could be us, you know, but this is going to take us some time from building other actual pages. So we need someone to go there and and test it. I, and I'm going to show you in here now on, uh, on my screen. I have in here the um, Apple website. So maybe what, what these people they could do, for example, you know, there is, there is much more. I'm not a QA tester professional or anything. But obviously, when I build some kind of website, I need to make sure it's working, okay? Uh, and what kind of things do they need to test? Make sure that it's displaying correctly, you know, make sure that the links are working as intended. Uh, look, everything is working fine. You have to try to find bugs. OK, bugs like things that they are not working as supposed to. You need to try to find the errors, the mistakes so you can actually after give it to the developers so they can fix it. And uh, now you're going to ask me, but well, tell me, what is the point that uh, the, the Q&A testers, they need to know HTML and CSS? Because look at this, if we go into our inspector in here, pressing F12, and we can actually go in here and inspect elements, you know, just to make sure that they are working fine. And we can even go in here and toggle this for a iPad view to make sure that is working fine on iPad. Uh, we could do the same, for example, for phones. This is how the website would look for phones. And by knowing HTML and CSS, it gives them a little bit more of knowledge to the QA testers and um, and it's just like one step ahead that you can get now to get a job as a web developer because this happens all the time. These people who started as a QA testers, like I said, they are just testing the website, make sure that they find all the, the bugs, make sure that the, the website is looking fine on all the browsers like Chrome. Uh, um, Firefox, Opera, Safari, all these kind of things. And by knowing HTML and CSS in here in this kind of inspector that we have in here, the developer tools on the right, as you can see, I talk about these on all a lot of my tutorials. You see, 
uh, you can actually see if the element is working as supposed to, is something missing, and you can put these kind of notes to the developer so they can after go and fix it. But if you know already a bit of HTML and CSS, it's gonna be uh, much easier for you, much easier for the developers. And uh, yeah, another thing, look, I'm gonna show you in here a website called um, Browser Stack, okay? This website called Browser Stack, basically, let me see if I can I can do something in here. This website in here, they can look look at this image. This is qu something quite accurate. You can see basically like um, phones in here. You can select real phones. They, they this is a company where they have like real phones, real tablets, like connected in a network, and you can access them through their website to their uh, program and basically you can just like test a website is like testing on a real web on a real phone on or on a real tablet and they have a lot of different phones because for example your website might look one way on a samsung another way on an iphone 6 or an iphone 10 it's going to look different so all of these things they need to be tested to make sure that we can reach the, the, the um, a bigger audience as possible. So this is a very important task for the QA testers. And uh, this is a job that you can get knowing only HTML and CSS, okay? If you're trying to get your first job, you only know HTML and CSS, search for this kind of um, uh, job title, QA tester, QA analyst, all these kind of things, because once you get this job there, after, if you want to make a jump into a front-end web developer or something like that, it's going to be so much easier because you are already there in the company, okay? <laughs> so this is the job number one that, um, that I, I wanted to mention. The second one that you can get only knowing HTML and CSS, it's conversion rate optimization okay so this was actually my first job title in my first job as a as a front-end web developer if you want to call it like that my job title was not like a front-end web developer but it was conversion rate optimization and you're gonna ask me now what, what, what's this conversion rate optimization i don't know anything about it so Conversion rate optimization, it's like, I'm going to show you in here now, this page. Where is it? Is this one. Imagine that uh, you have a website, okay? And you want to do something in there. You want to sell a product. You want to people, for example, to, um, to sign up this form like it, it's in here. Um, and at the moment, the website is not converting these kind of things well. Uh, let's say, for example, this website, this thing that I have in here, uh, they want people to come in here and uh, and sign up this form. And at the moment, it's not working fine because imagine that they have like uh, 100 people coming to the website and only one or two people, they sign up the form. Um, in as a conversion rate optimization, what you what you do is I actually love that 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 my first job in there was like you could like um, design yourself some new 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 design for the page uh, to try to convert it. Of course, you will have help from uh, other designers, from your manager, from your colleagues that they will give you some kind of um, uh, you know, tips and tricks and everything. So let, let's say, for example, this is kind of a software in here from this website called Unbounce that is very popular for conversion rate optimization. And I'm just going to show you quickly in here just an example of what I would do at my job. Let's say that uh, this is like uh, how the website was. I could come in here now and, for example, move this one of course, you are doing this first as a design. You can do it on Photoshop or, or any kind of other software that you can edit these things. And after you have like the mock-up, the design, after being approved by your manager, by the designers or something, you can actually code it. And you just need HTML and CSS, okay? Look at this. 
I'm going to put in here, just, just with my experience, I'm going to put in here, for example, the form, instead of being in here on the right side, I'm going to put it in here, like in, in the center. Uh, I could go in here now and I, I never actually use this in here, but um, uh, let me see if I'm going to put something like uh, yellow or some, something like to stand out or orange. I don't know. Something like this. Look at this. Uh, now, uh, putting this, for example, like this, now is standing so much more than the rest of the things. Uh, I could actually just move this thing in here now. Let me reduce. Let me reduce this a little bit like this. So you have the big form in here. Now you have the click button in here. Look now. Someone that is going to come in here, they are going to see straight away this form because it's like it's a, a, a really um, bright color in contrast to all the rest of the website. I could uh, move these, uh, I don't know, uh, I could move these uh, just around here. I don't know if I can just like shrink this down. Like I said, I never, I never used this one before. So I'm just doing this like on the fly, like... Something like this, how about adding these? And then I could put, uh, for example, this one. Uh, let's see. I can put these with another color, make it with a bit more contrast. This is going to be dark, so it's not a good idea. Maybe something, something like, uh, I, I could actually, yeah, I could actually maybe Put it as a white. I don't even know in here now if I could put some border, but you know, I'm gonna just put, uh, yeah, if I put this in here, let me put this in here. Now it's gonna show up. Ah, now you can see better. If I put this in here, look, now you can actually see you have it in the middle, so you don't miss it. You have this big contrast color, and this one in here that is like, um, complementary color from this one, from the color wheel. I have a video talking about these kind of things. So basically, let, let's say in conversion rate optimization, you would come up with, uh, let's say, two, three designs. And after there is something called A-B testing, okay? And the A-B testing is you create this kind of, um, you create this kind of uh, designs and then you put them live and with some help of some kind of software or something, depending, uh, the one that I was using was called um, VWO, called um, Virtual Web Optimization, something like this. That you could put the three designs, three, four, how many you want. And uh, imagine that you have 10 people coming to your website. Three people are going to see design one, three people are going to see design two, three people are going to see design three. And basically the traffic is being split over the three or two designs. And then in the end, you will see which one is the best, um, is the best converting design. And like I said, I'm just going a little bit uh, too much over it, but uh, this is another, another, um, job title that you can actually get as a, as a, um, just with HTML and CSS. And after you, you are in this kind of job, you can get a job as a front end web developer. Easy, easy, because this is giving you like a lot of experience as well. Okay. I'm just going to show you in here, like a kind of a, a, an example of a difference between design and user experience. For example, look, this is how people do the design but you don't see people walking from here, okay? You see people walking in here into the grass, okay? So they are not using this design that it was supposed to be used, but they are <laughs> making this kind of shortcut. And this is the same in here in our designs on the websites. Maybe you, you are building something like this that you are putting this in here in the corner, with a very dark color, something like this, that people are not even noticing. And the people, they just get lost. They don't do what, what you want them to do, okay? Um, 
Okay, I think I, I've talked already a little bit too much about this conversion rate optimization, but this is something that I really like. Uh, so finally, uh, another the, the third job title that you can get, um, a job with only HTML and CSS is uh, a web designer, okay? Uh, there is a lot of companies that uh, they actually hire people as web designers, web designers because they are supposed to do a design of a page like this. For example, I want to put this thing in here, put this thing in here, in here or whatever and change, put this here and after just code it, code it with HTML and CSS, okay? Things simple like landing pages, I talk about this all the time. Look at this page in here. This is something that a, a simple HTML and CSS uh, uh, developer could do. You know, like uh, that, that's why they call it like um, web designers because nowadays they can just do the design and they can, they can code it. If you look at the job specs of these web designers from nowadays, they are required to know HTML and CSS as well, not just like designing it. Um, so yeah, I, I guess I guess that's it. Uh, resuming what I was just like talking about, if you want to get your first job as a web developer and you only know HTML and CSS, you can get the job as a QA tester, as a conversion rate optimization, uh, and as a web designer. One of these three, most likely will will help you get that first job even if you don't know javascript because i know a lot of you guys are still confused about javascript and you are still a bit like i don't know if i know enough or anything so um yeah that's it for this video guys i hope you like it if you like it make sure you give me a thumbs up make sure that you check my patreon that uh, i just created uh like two weeks ago or something i'm building websites completely from zero like you don't know nothing okay even if you have zero experience i'm guiding you like how to build a page and um, teach you a bit of javascript as well responsive websites that they work on tablets and phones and everything you have everything you need in here so if you like my tutorials make sure you come here and support me because you will have access to all this premium content okay all right, guys, so that's it for this video. And uh, yeah, like I said, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.